Here's another video, guys, to give you an idea of what it takes to put a blade cage underneath a Baja bug. Basically, the rear end, you have to cut out the whole thing. The whole thing comes way down like this and goes back up, and it's got like a little shelf so that you can put the pins right here. Well, with all that in there, like on the chase cage, I have one of those. It lifts the body up this high. And you guys that already have bugs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I thought, you know what? Let me just start cutting little by little and tuck that down. Now it squats over the sides. It sits pretty good. I'm going to uh, have to put some posts from the cage out. Um, that'll be probably the next thing. The rear, um, up on top, there are holes, if you guys can see, right there and right there. So I could go through the top, or I was thinking I could put, like, screw little rubber pads right there so that if it does roll, it'll be on a, a cushion and then just do the sides and the hell with the back mounting it. Um, the uh, front of the actual factory cage does have to be cut off to get it this low. Um, it goes up and then it comes down to a point. Um, as you can see on my other blade. But uh, So what we did is... You just lift this guy off, and there it is. The whole front end of the cage has been ground off so that I can keep... I'm going to set this down real quick. The whole thing comes up and then drops down to a point and mounts here. This is their bumper, which I love. Um... And you just got the, you know, this factory set up there. It's all the way down. And with it all the way down and the front end, the bug body is about an eighth of an inch. Maybe a little bit higher, not quite a quarter of an inch, um, higher than the turtle racing, um, you know, piece here. Um, so all this, it's a big triangle of plastic right here. And then tube chassis or cage coming through cut all that off so that we have all, the, the cage is still rock solid which is great um, and then you know, as you can see this guy just line up the front drop it on and it sits perfect perfectly even level you know once it's mounted on the sides it's going to be good to go I think but, so if you guys are thinking about doing the same thing, there you go. There's there's how I did it. And like I said, it was just little by little over, uh, you know, a few days. I work double shifts every day. I have two jobs. So after working 16 hours, I came out here for a few hours uh, every night and tried to get as much work as I could um, done. But there she is. All right, once again... That's what she looks like underneath. And the nice thing about the blade kit is it comes with the mounts to the, to the chassis. Um, it's just a, a great kit for 120 bucks. You cannot beat it. I mean, it's great. I actually a week later after I bought one, I bought another one just in case one breaks. I mean, it. I don't know. It's got a lot of style. And, you know, just boom, pops on. Everything looks sharp to me. It's getting there. All right, guys. Good luck. Bye.